it gives you the freedom to actually get to a stopping point and then transition over. Beautiful, beautiful, magnificent people, you. Do I have something for you today? So, I learned about something recently called time blocking. I have never really used it before, but this is something that I'm going to be doing moving forward. Um, I'm in a mastermind that I pay $100 a month for. One of the tactics that they spoke on recently was how it's easier to remain less stressed when you have all the things that you need to take care of on your calendar and you operate from your calendar. Because you have everything that you know you need to get done and you block out when you're going to do those things. And I don't mean a time like, hey, at this time I have to do this and then on this time it ends and then this time. No, no, no. Time blocking. Time blocking was something that I've heard of a lot and I never really understood what it meant. I thought it meant you just schedule everything out on your calendar and you follow it like that. It's very close, but not exactly that. From my understanding, time blocking is you take down a note of all the things you need to get done on certain days and then block out within what time you feel like you'd be able to get those completed in and you start them then. Why do we do this? Because Typically, when people set up their calendars, they put the specific time that they have to go somewhere or do something or something like that. And so if you miss the actual time, you kind of tell yourself, oh, I'm late. It doesn't matter anymore. Why am I even going? Problem. Time blocking solves that. And the way that it does is because rather than saying a hard stop time when you have to do something, you give yourself a window for how long you think it'll take you to complete the actual task. So, for example, if I were saying that I was going to go to the gym today... I wouldn't say I have to go to the gym at 1 p.m. and I need to be done by like 1.30. Instead, I would give myself anywhere from 12.30 all the way until probably like 2.30. 12.30 to 2.30. That's two hours. Any time between that time, I should be going to the gym and complete it. And considering to go to the gym, it only takes an hour. There you go. Instead of giving yourself a hard start and a hard stop, you give yourself a window of when you should be doing something. So if you're doing something already, it gives you the freedom to actually get to a stopping point and then transition over to the next thing. This is what I'm going to be doing for the oncoming weeks. I will tell you how it goes when I get there. For now, take this little piece and I urge you to test it as well. I'll see you tomorrow. This is day 13, Matthew Holland signing off. You've been wonderful.